Hola! Have you ever been to a zoo? Zoo in Spanish is zoológico. That's a long word and it's kind of hard to say. Zoológico. Have you been to one? Yeah! You have? Si! Sí. So does that mean you saw the animals at the zoológico? Yeah! Animals in Spanish are animales. That one's close. Animals? Animales. ¿Viste los animales en el zoológico? You did? What animals could we find at a zoológico? A zebra? Una cebra? A gorilla? Un gorila? A lion? Un león? Oh, oh, I know. What about a flamingo? Un flamenco? All of those animals sound very similar in English and in Spanish. Here, let's try it again. Zebra, cebra. Gorilla, gorila. Lion, león. Flamingo, flamenco. Here are some animals you might find at a zoológico. I'm going to get you to say that word by the end of this. You'll see. Zoológico. Okay, what animal is this? I know it's a bear, but in Spanish it's an oso. Oso with an O. Oso. And these are actually my favorite animals. They just look so cuddly. But careful because they're not. Okay, next one. Elephant, elefante. These sound so similar. Elephant, elefante. And the next one. A giraffe, una jirafa. This is an interesting one because in English we say giraffe, but it's with a G, but it sounds like a J. Giraffe, but it's a G. But in Spanish, it's with a J, but it sounds like an H. Jirafa. I know, it's complicated, but we'll get there. So this is a jirafa, giraffe. Do you want to pretend to go to the zoo together? Juntos? Together in Spanish is juntos. Juntos. ¿Vamos juntos al zoológico? Yeah! Yeah? Okay, great. First, we need tickets. Two tickets to the zoo, please. Perfect, thank you. Gracias. Thank you in Spanish is gracias. Can you say it? Gracias. Gr, gr, gracias. It's always nice to say gracias or thank you when someone hands you something. So let's try it. Two tickets to the zoológico, please. Thank you. Gracias. Good job. Okay, let's go inside. What animals do we see? Look, a tiger. Un tigre. Those are kind of similar. Tiger in Spanish is tigre. You just kind of reverse some of the letters in there. Tiger, tigre. What sound does a tigre make? Rawr! Rawr! <laughs> That's a scary tigre. What sound would a very cute, tiny cartoon tigre make? Rawr! Rawr! <laughs> Good job. Let's keep going. What animal do we see next? Un mono? A monkey? I see it! I see the mono! Monkey in Spanish is mono. That one's really easy. Mono. Okay, ¿qué sonido hace un mono? What sound does a monkey make? Let's
let's try to see one more animal. Yeah? Let's go. We're at the zoo. We're at the zoo. Do you see that over there? It's enormous. It's gigantic. It's gray, grayish brown, and it's got big ears and a really long trunk. Ooh. Do you see it? It's an elephant. Ooh. Elephant in Spanish is elefante. Elefante. Thank you for watching my videos. Gracias por ver mis videos. If you like what you see, por favor, por favor, por favor, subscribe. Suscríbete. Thank you. What a fun time at the zoo, in el zoológico. We saw so many different animals, tantos animales diferentes. Do you want to help me play a game? You do? Si? Sí? Okay, let's do it. What animal is this in Spanish? Un elefante. Easy. Elephant. Elefante. Un león. A lion. ¿Qué sonido hace un león? What sound does a lion make? Rawr. Una jirafa. And it would probably be eating some hojas, leaves. Una cebra. Would we see a cebra at the zoológico? Sí. Sí, I think so too. Un gorila. Una tortuga. ¿Has visto una tortuga en el zoológico? Have you seen a turtle at the zoo? Yeah! And a búho, an owl. These two sound totally different. Owl, búho. But búho kind of sounds like the sound an owl makes. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Thank you for learning and playing with me at the zoo, en el zoológico. Can you try to say it? Let's just try it. Zoológico. Okay, see you soon. Hasta luego. Hola, hello. Hola is hello in Spanish. Can you say it? Hola. Yo soy Romy. My name is Romy. And this is Boots. Boots is my dog. Un perro. Can you say perro? Perro. <laughs> it's a hard one. It's short, but it's a little bit hard to say. Perro. Perro. Boots is a perro. And a perro is an animal. Un animal. Today is a very special day because we're going to learn about animales. Are you ready? ¿Están listos? Mira este conejo tan bonito. Conejo is rabbit. Bunny rabbit. Conejo. Mira este panda rojo. Panda rojo es red panda. Ahora mira este pulpo. Pulpo is octopus. Can you say pulpo? Okay, another fun one to say is hipopótamo. Hippopotamus. It's a fun word in English and in Spanish. Ahora tengo un elefante. Elephant, elefante. Those sound similar, right? Same with this next one. Un león. A lion. But this one doesn't look very scary. Y este ya lo conocen. You know this one already. Un perro. Perro. Perro is dog. And this one is my dog. Boots. Do you know what sound a dog makes? ¿Qué sonido hace un perro? Can you make it? I can do it.
animales caminan, they walk, otros animales nadan, they swim, y otros animales vuelan, they fly. This circle says caminar, walk, and this circle says nadar, swim. ¿Me pueden ayudar a organizar los animales en el círculo correcto? Can you help me organize the animals in the right circle? A lion, un león. Does it walk, camina, or does it swim? Nada, camina, walk. A jellyfish, una medusa. Camina o nada? Hmm. Nada, muy bien. A dolphin, un delfín. Nada, swims. Este es fácil. This one's easy. Camina, walk. A penguin, un pingüino. Hmm. Es especial porque camina y nada. It does both. It walks and swims. Do you want to do an animal craft together? Juntos? See? ¿Sí? Yes? Thank you. We're going to make masks that look like fox faces. Fox in Spanish is zorro. Z-O-R-R-O. -R -R -O. Zorro. First, you'll need a paper plate and you can either color it orange, naranja, or I used felt and I glued it on like this. Then you're going to want to fold your paper so that you'll get this shape. You're going to give it some eyes. And now it needs some ears. So ask a parent to help you with this. And I'm going to add some glue. Look at my fox face. Gracias por jugar y aprender conmigo. Thank you for learning and playing with me. See you soon. Hasta luego. Hi there. Hola. Romy here. And I have a very important question to ask you. Are you ready? Huh. What sound does a cow make? Moo. <laughs> okay. This is a vaca. Cow in Spanish is vaca with a V. Vaca. Vaca. So, ¿qué sonido hace una vaca? What sound does a vaca make? In Spanish, the word for the animal might sound totally different, but the sounds they make are going to be the same. <coughs> so a vaca makes a moo sound. Good job. What sound does an oveja make? Sheep in Spanish is oveja. Oveja. ¿Qué sonido hace una oveja? Ba. Bah. ¿Qué sonido hace un pato? Duck in Spanish is pato. ¿Qué sonido hace un pato? Quack, 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 quack. ¿Qué sonido hace un perro? Dog in Spanish is perro. ¿Qué sonido hace un perro? hace un pollito? Chicks in Spanish are pollitos. What sound does a pollito make? ¿Qué sonido hace un caballo? Horse in Spanish is caballo. ¿Qué sonido hace un caballo? ¡Ney! <laughs> See, the sound that the animal makes is all the same in English and in Spanish.
but the word for the animal is what changes, like dog, perro, cow, vaca. Speaking of, where do all of those animals live? Hmm. On a farm, en una granja. Farm in Spanish is granja. Granja. Do you want to explore a granja with me today? Sí. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, do you want to learn a Spanish song about a farm animal with me? Yeah! yeah. This one is about a cow, and it's called La Vaca Lola, yeah. or Lola the Cow. So some words you need to know first are vaca. Cow in Spanish is vaca. Cabeza. Head in Spanish is cabeza. Cabeza. And tail, you know, on the back of an animal, a tail is a cola. Cola. Cabeza, cola. Okay, the song goes like this. One, two, Okay, you wanna sing it with me? Yeah! You got it, you got it, it's easy. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. La vaca lola, la vaca lola, tiene Cabeza y tiene cola y hace. Good job! Let's do it again now, one more time. Ready? One, two, one, two, three. La vaca Lola, la vaca Lola, tiene cabeza y tiene cola y hace. Moo! Do you know what a granja is for? What a farm is for? Hmm. It's to grow food and animals. So we already met some animals that live on a granja. What kind of food grows on a granja? Corn, maíz. Carrots, zanahoria. Lettuce, lechuga. Potatoes, papas. Tomatoes, tomates. Those are all foods that are grown on a granja. Now let's learn them in Spanish slower, okay? Corn is maíz, maíz. Carrots are zanahoria. Lettuce is lechuga, lechuga, lechuga. Potatoes are papas, that one's easy. And tomatoes are tomates, tomates. It's kind of similar, tomato, tomate. Do you want to help me count how many zanahorias are ready to be picked? Yeah! See? Zanahorias are carrots. Zanahorias. Let's count them while learning Spanish, okay? One. Uno. Two. Dos. Three. Tres. Four, cuatro, five, cinco, cinco zanahorias. Five carrots were ready to be picked. Now let's do it again, putting them back in, but let's do it just in English, okay? One, two, three, Four, five, five carrots. Now let's pick the five carrots in Spanish only, okay? Uno, uno, one. I'll help you a little bit. Dos, dos, two. Tres, tres. Cuatro, cuatro, cinco, cinco zanahorias estaban listos para comer.
Can you help me name the farm animal, but using only the Spanish name for the farm animal? I'll help you, don't worry. Okay, let's do it. What animal is this? A vaca. Vaca is cow, remember? Yay! What about this one? Un caballo. Caballo is horse. Yay! <laughs> Oveja. Oveja is sheep. You got this. Yeah! This one is a pato. Quack, quack. Pato is duck. Yeah! yeah. And these are pollitos. Pollitos are chicks. Thank you for learning and playing with me on the granja. See you soon. Hasta luego. del conejo. Ojos are eyes in Spanish and conejo is bunny rabbit. So, ¿dónde están los ojos del conejo? Huh. Ahí están. Yay. Y el conejo tiene dos ojos, right? One, two. Uno, dos. Now, ¿dónde están las orejas del conejo? Hmm. Ears in Spanish are orejas. Orejas. Ears. ¿Dónde están las orejas del conejo? Yay. Ahí están. And she has dos orejas. One, two. Uno, dos. Monkey in Spanish is mono, mono. What sound does a monkey make? ¿Qué sonido hace un mono? Okay, ¿dónde están las orejas, ears, del mono? Hmm. Ahí están. One, two. Uno, dos. Dos orejas. Muy bien. ¿Y dónde están las manos del mono? Manos. Manos. Good job. ¿Y esta rana pequeña? <laughs> rana is frog. Frog is rana in Spanish. So, ¿dónde están los ojos, eyes, de esta rana pequeña. Ahí están sus ojos. One, two. Uno, dos. Dos ojos. <coughs> ¿Y este cerdo? Pig in Spanish is cerdo. Cerdo. Where is this cerdo's nariz? Nose. Ahí está. Muy bien. Good job. That's the cerdo's nariz. What about the cerdo's orejas? Orejas. Right here. One, two. Uno, dos. Dos orejas. Okay, what about this animal? This is a vaca. Cow in Spanish is vaca. ¿Qué sonido hace una vaca? What sound does a vaca make? Moo. <laughs> okay, do you 
Do you want to learn a song about a vaca in Spanish? Yeah! Oh, easy. Yeah? It's called La Vaca Lola, the cow named Lola. First, we need to know a couple words. Cow in Spanish is vaca. Head in Spanish is cabeza. Cabeza. Can you point to your cabeza? Good job! This is your cabeza. And a cow and a lot of animals have tails. And their tail in Spanish is called a cola. Cola. What animals have colas? A dog, un perro. Mm, a cow, a vaca. Um, hmm, a cat, un gato, has a cola. A mouse, un ratón, has a cola. A lot of animals have colas. Okay, the song goes like this. La vaca Lola, la vaca Lola, tiene cabeza y tiene cola y hace mu. One more time. La vaca Lola, la vaca Lola, tiene cabeza y tiene cola y hace mu. Let's do it one more and give me the loudest moo you've got. La vaca Lola, la vaca Lola, tiene cabeza y tiene cola y hace moo. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Dónde está Romy? Ahí está. ¿Dónde está Romy? Ahí está. Peekaboo. Hola. Hello. Hello in Spanish is hola. Can you show me your manos, your hands? Hands in Spanish are manos. 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 ¿Puedo ver tus manos? Can I see your hands? Can you open them? Now can you shut them? ¿Los puedes abrir y cerrar? Abrir y cerrar is open, shut in Spanish. Abrir, cerrar. Open, shut. ¿Cuántas manos tenemos? How many hands do we have? Huh. We have two hands. Tenemos dos manos. Let's count them, okay? One, two. Uno, dos. One in Spanish is uno. And two in Spanish is dos. Dos manos. One, two. Uno, dos. Now, can you wave with your mano? ¿Puedes saludar con tu mano? Sí. sí. Hola. If our manos are up here, where are our pies? Feet in Spanish are pies. So, ¿dónde están nuestros pies? Están ahí abajo. They're down by your feet. <laughs> They're down by the floor. Those are your feet. Tus pies. We use our pies to walk, to caminar. We walk or caminamos by putting one foot in front of the other, right? Un pies, otro pies. Un pies, otro pies. Así es como caminamos. That's how we walk. Can you caminar yet? What about jumping, saltando? Can you saltar yet? I like looking at you. Do you know what body part we use to look at things? 
are eyes. Eyes in Spanish are ojos. Ojos. And we have two eyes. One, two. Uno, dos. Dos ojos. Just like we have dos manos. One, two. Uno, dos. Dos y dos. Can you open and shut your eyes? Like we open and shut our hands. Open, shut. Open, shut. Abrir, cerrar. Abrir, cerrar. Abrir, cerrar. Abrir, cerrar. Abrir, cerrar. Good job! Yeah. What body part is directly under our eyes? Hmm. Our nose. Oh. Nose in Spanish is nariz. Nariz. And our nariz is used to smell things. Para oler. I love smelling things with my nariz. What things do you like to smell? Flowers, flores, flores smell amazing. Cookies, galletas, galletas also smell amazing. What else? A candle, una vela. Velas always smell so good and make your whole home smell good. Good job. Thank you for learning and playing with me. I'll see you soon. Hasta luego.